first time chat cat meow salute salute i like your name hello chicho i love listening to your perspective and i always love your set background scenery thanks i would love your perspective on what you believe world war three will look like i where will the primary regions of focus be and will it go nuclear and why hasn't uh benjamin Netanyahu been taken out thank you in advance uh first of all benjamin Nat Netanyahu being taken out uh no one in their right mind really wants to take out leaders of the opposing nations because in the background you don't know what's going to happen that's instability and behind that you are more idiots that are going to get into power the whole nation of israel is psychotic right so Netanyahu is old school the new school and some of the old old school they're going to come out and they're going to press the button and nuke right so the reason benjamin Netanyahu hasn't been taken out because he's making all the mistakes that the resistance needs for Israel to look like shit and have the global majority hate Israel and boycott Israel, which is exactly what's going on, right? So Bibi Netanyahu is a piece of crap that doesn't give a rat's ass about Jews, Zionists, or Israel. It's just trying to obtain more power and stay in power so he doesn't go to jail, right? Everybody knows this. Why would Iran, Hezbollah, Hamas, Yemen, Yemenis, why would they take out benjamin netanyahu where he's doing most of the work for them to collapse israel right it's like why would russia take out Zelensky? Zelensky has done everything possible to collapse ukraine right like the best enemy you want because they're stupid they're fanatics they're reactionary right okay that's netanyahu is world war three gonna go nuclear yes i think we're gonna see nukes go off mini nukes at least anyway and the ground war hard war with bombs and stuff going off is going to expand right a kinetic war is going to expand but world war three is beyond nations versus nations it's more than just israel versus the entire middle east It's more than just nato versus russia or united states versus china it's more than this world war three also encompasses a war on free speech a war of freedom of religion a war on movement a war on citizens of every nation in regards to your freedom to conduct business your freedom to think thought crime your freedom to your bodily autonomy so world war three this is the really truly first global war that we're witnessing right to put it into context think about it this way in world war ii it was only in europe occupied nazi europe that you needed to show your papers papers please papers please papers please right it was only in europe during world war ii papers please occupied nazi europe right in the last four years we've seen papers please everywhere across the globe right you have to show your papers in canada to go inside a coffee shop papers please papers please papers please so this is a global war on humanity right it's going to involve censorship freedom of movement freedom of commerce freedom to do finance it's going to involve your body your thought your speech your family your really everything in regards to who we are as human beings and it's also going to include nations institutions terrorists waging kinetic war and many people dying just the way we've seen in israel right israel just conducted one of the greatest most horrendous terror attacks in human history the western world applauded it right the global majority washed in horror right so what was the end result of that terror attack the western world its collapse accelerating and israel's viability to remain as a, a state a viable state being annihilated right that's where we are that's where we are